Hi, Jason here. Now, using ChatGPT is all about the prompts. The power is in the prompts. The better the prompt, the better the output that ChatGPT can give you. So what about having ChatGPT make your prompts for you so that they're absolutely brilliant and give you an outstanding output? Well, this prompt that I'm going to show you now, I have to give full credit for to uh, this gentleman here, Brett Littlefield, who is in my chat GPT users community. And there's a link underneath this video if you would like to join that community. It's totally free and you get cool stuff like this. People putting in really good recommendations for prompts. Now, what what is it? Well, basically, it's a prompt that will get chat GPT to ask you the right questions to create a prompt for you that is then perfect for it to produce good results. So here it is. Um, I want you to, be to become my prompt engineer. I'll zoom in a little bit here. There you go. Your goal is to help me craft the best possible prompt for my needs. The prompts will be used by you, ChatGPT. You'll follow the following process. One, your first response will be to ask me what the prompt should be about. I'll provide my answer, but you will need to improve it through continual iterations by going through the next steps. Then the second thing, based on my input, you'll generate two sections. A revised prompt, so this is like its first attempt at the prompt based on what you've said. Um, and then it should be clear, concise, and easily understood. B, questions. Ask any relevant questions pertaining to what additional information is needed for me to improve the prompt. And then thirdly, we'll continue this iterative process with me, providing additional information to you and you updating the prompt in the revised prompt section until I say we're done. So there you go. We're, we're working with ChatGPT to develop an incredible prompt. So let's try it out right now. And if you're finding this useful, please do like the video and subscribe to my channel for more stuff like this. So great, I'm ready to help you craft the best possible prompt. What would you like the prompt to be about? Okay, well, I'm going to have it um, write me an article about SEO. Okay, so here we go. I want you to create a prompt to help me write an article using chat GPT about SEO for beginners. All right, let's just change that because it put a C in there and then we'll just also get rid of that little space that it put in there and go. So revised prompt, write an informative article using chat GPT on the basics of search engine optimization. SEO in brackets for beginners. Questions. Now, this is where it starts to refine that prompt to give you such a better article. So the first thing it's asking there is, who is your target audience? And you can respond to this just on a new line, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say, let's say, uh, consultants. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put coaches and consultants, actually. Coaches and consultants is my target uh, audience. What le level of knowledge do they have about SEO? I'm going to put very little. And then a three, is there any specific aspect of SEO that you want to focus on? I'm going to put uh, that on keywords. And then what is the word count requirement of the article? I'm just going to do one for 500 words. So 500 words. There we go. And off we go again, revised prompts, getting better all the time. Use ChatGPT to write a 500 word article for coaches and consultants who are beginners in SEO, providing an overview of the basics of SEO and how it can benefit their business. And now it's asking me some more questions, three questions here. Uh, can you specify what kind of coaches and consultants you're targeting, i.e. life coaches? That's really good, actually. Let's say, um, let's go with health coaches. So we'll do those. And then two, uh, would you like me to provide any examples or case studies to ex uh, illustrate how SEO has benefited other coaches and consultants? I'm going to put no because they will likely be made up <laughs> by ChatGPT. And I don't think that's particularly ethical there. Three, um, are there any specific keywords or topics related to SEO that you want me to cover in the article? Um yeah, let's just go with SEO for beginners. There you go. So that's the keyword that I would like to target with the article. And here it goes again. So now it's just improved that prompt just a little bit more. 
Um, why is it important for health coaches and provide tips on how to improve the website, their website's SEO. So there we go. And now it's it's gone into another deeper, a deeper way here. Uh, is there a particular angle or focus you would like me to take in regards to how SEO can benefit them? Yeah, I reckon it would be a good one to say about uh, attracting new clients. So we'll go attracting new clients. Then we'll say, are there any common misconceptions or myths about SEO that you'd like me to address in this article? Um, let's put that that uh, SEO does not work anymore because there was a stage when SEO was pretty hard, but it's, it's back again, I think. Uh, would you like me to provide any tips on how to track the effectiveness of SEO efforts? I'll just put yes. And there we are. And, and it will it will just keep going until we get this unbelievable uh, prompt right there. And so you can keep going and going like this. And I won't I won't do it now, but, you know, you can see it will go on forever. I'm going to say now um, we are done and I am happy, happy with the prompt. And let's see what it says there now. Great. I'm I'm glad to have been of help. There you go. What a wonderful assistant this is. So now let's take this prompt. Here is the prompt. And I'm going to start a new chat. Let's go up to the top. New chat. Paste in the prompt that it has given. And I'm also going to add something else to it as well. Um, and I'm going to put, uh, please format the article. Uh, well, actually, what do we call it here? Do we call it like, yeah, we'd please format the article with H1 and H2 uh, titles. And there we are. That's it. Uh, I'm just going to let it do its magic now. And here it goes. So uh, it's got it's got the H1 title at the top there. H2, what is SEO and so on. And and you can see how quick it writes. I'm using the plus version of ChatGPT, but, you know, it, it, it does work pretty well, obviously, on the free as well. I mean, they, they're actually functioning in exactly the same way. It's really just the speed and reliability that you're gaining with Plus. And there we are. We have got our awesome article that has been written exactly uh, the way that we want it. It's been improved from our initial prompt by using ChatGPT, the expert at prompting, to refine it. And of course, you can use this technique for anything. It doesn't have to be to write an article, you know, it could be to create a mid-journey prompt, you know, if you want to have a, a brilliant prompt to create some artificial intelligence images. It could be used for creating tables. Anything that you would normally do with ChatGPT, you can use this one prompt, this one amazing prompt to create the ultimate prompt to give you the best output. So I hope that helped. Um, if it did, like I say, please do subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this. And we've got a free community, which I mentioned earlier. You can see it right here. And there is Brett who gave uh, me the idea for this video. And you can just join for free. Just, just head on over. There'll be a, a link right underneath. And if you're ready to really master the whole of chat GPT, um, then you need to check out my latest product, which is a chat GPT school. Let's just show you that right now. This is opening up very, very shortly. You can actually get 50% pre-launch discount um, before Monday, the 13th of March. And here it is. And we are going to cover absolutely everything about ChatGPT so that you can master it and use it in both your business and personal life to maximum effect and become a real productivity beast. So there you go. Thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you again in another one very soon.